Leo, welcome to your weekly reading for December 20th through the 27th, 2020. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's an honor to have you here. Welcome to my channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. If you're new here, <laughs> if you're new here I do weekly and daily horoscope updates for your sign in love and in life because one thing we believe here at the channel is that love is the most powerful catalyst to helping you grow and step into your divine purpose here on earth. So welcome, it's an honor to have you. If you're new and you want to be in the loop, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the family. And if you do enjoy this video, hit that like button. It helps this channel and this video grow so we can guide more people. Now, Leo, we're gonna go ahead and get right into your reading here. Um, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna open up the ceremony, call in my guides, angels, ancestors, and as well as those from the collective. Then just channel some straight up messages for you to hear for this week, urgent in love or in life um, from your guides and my guides. And then we're gonna get into the channeled tarot part of the reading where I'm gonna channel uh, information you need to, need to know in your love situation. Could be a relationship, situationship, or if you just want clarity in and around a certain person, you've come to the right place. Okay, Leo? Last thing I'll say before we get into it, is if you want to go deeper and find out what your person is feeling towards you right now, their energy generally, and additional clarity on what the universe has to say in the situation, there will be an extended reading in the description box below. You can check that out. Last, last, last plug I will say, Leos, is if you uh, want access to all extended readings, if you love this channel, you're so in, you want to go deeper, um, and you want all extended readings accessible, as well as how to learn your own astrology chart, how to learn how to channel the tarot, and even if you want to, how to build a spiritual-based business from scratch, okay, and monetize what you love doing the most, uh, check out my Patreon page. That will also be in the description below, and uh, that's one of the biggest perks, is that tier two, you get unlimited uh, uh, extended video access, okay? So welcome. Without further ado, let's open the ceremony and let's get into it. Officially open the ceremony now for the collective sign Leo for December 20th through the 27th, 2020. Calling my guides, angels, ancestors, loved ones, masters, and wise ones, as well as those from the collective sign of Leo, asking for the ability to channel for the highest good and healing of all involved in this situation and of all listening currently and now and in the, and in the future. Thank you so much, Spirit. The ceremony is now open. And so it is. Let's go ahead and tap in and see if we have any channel messages coming through, Leo. <laughs> you've come to the right place. Right now is a place you've been hoping to arrive at for quite a while, but it seemed to have eluded you um, for some unknown reason or purpose. Um, you haven't been sure why that uh, this place, this thing, this person has eluded you so, but here it is now standing in front of you and you're wondering what to do about it. You're wondering what to say, where to go, and how it will be. We tell you now in the situation to rest easy, to allow yourself to surrender to whatever is and whatever will be, and whatever is in the highest good for all involved. We ask you now to let go and of surrender to the situation, to the energy at hand, because, because it is no longer something that is in your control. It never has been and never will be. All is taking place in divine timing, and the sooner that you learn that, the sooner that we can all move forward. Know that this is taking place for your highest good, and that is, that is all you need to know at this time. Wow. All right, very specific. <laughs> that was probably the most specific message I've gotten uh, in all the readings so far. So um, I just saw, uh, I saw you, no, it, it wasn't even you. It was just like a person standing in front of another person. And... It's just kind of like been a dream up till now. You know, it's been like a, a shadowy, vague dream. And it's like now you're, it's almost like you're facing that now in a way that you weren't before, like the actual confrontation of it. Could be between two certain people or just in a situation. But very strongly is asking the final step here, I believe, is to let go of and surrender control in the situation. 
because that will allow it to move forward. Nine of Cups. Leo, I do believe that um, I do believe there's someone here that you'd like to offer your cup of love to. Um, and I do believe that it's been something that's been building up and in, in the works for quite a while at this time. Something with a lot of power, passion, and emotion be, be, uh, behind this give here. A lot of energy that's gone into this process. A lot of clarity and assurity, right? And assurance in your own heart about whether or not this is something you'd like to do or to give. And this is something that shifts all of a sudden. Or you want it to shift all of a sudden. There's a, there's an, there's a not an anxiousness, but there's a speed, a, rap, a, ra, a rapidity, a, a speed that wants to come along with this shift, this give, this change, this trade, this confrontation here. And the divine is here too with the star card. Saying that all is coming in divine timing. I feel right now that this is all coming out of no... It's been here for a long time, but like I said, the, the confrontation of this, the actual physical representation of what's what you've been imagining in your mind here for a long time has been in the works. Right? And now it's here, and you're, you've come in, I feel, to, to confront someone or something and to give them this cup of love or truth or... And you've wanted this for a while. I mean, it's got an energy of swiftness. Like, this is just a sudden happening that changes the divine's been involved in. And yeah, I mean, look, you. this is absolutely something you'd like to offer your cup to. Okay, It could be a, an offer of reconciliation. It could be an offer of friendship. Uh, it could be offer an offer simply to share joy with another person. You know, joy and truth. But I do feel it's more so reconciliation. I do. I definitely feel that. So there's someone here that you'd like to come in with a strong offer for. Prince of Cups. So you have the Knight of Cups and the Prince of Cups here. <laughs> and you can see here the Prince of Cups as opposed to... Um, you know, I do feel... Uh, for some reason I'm feeling this is, this is like the energy you're wanting to give to. You know, it's not so much as uh, your energy, but this could be um, a water sign. Okay. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Uh, but someone who's uh, had a lot of momentum here in their life that I feel that you have a lot of admiration for. And someone who has really begun to stand in their power and take flight in their own life. And because of this, I believe it's enabled quite, an, quite a brand new opportunity beginning in this love that you have for this person. Something destined, something destined and fated to come through that I feel has been in the works for a long time. I feel it's finally time that you've become ready, you've cultivated what you've needed to cultivate. You know, it's like this person's beginning to fly on their own right and you're like, oh, don't fly away because I'm here and I'm ready now. Here to offer a very solid cup and a very, looks like passionate, demonstration of communication in and for this person. Yeah. So you have the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Cups. This is a wonderful opportunity for a new beginning that comes in like that with the Ace or the Eight of Wands here coming in. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And we have the Two of Wands here underneath the star. So I think uh, what needed to happen for you, or just in this situation, was both of you or you, Leo, one, one, or, one or both of you, needed to go out and to really explore and imagine what other crossroads you had, what other paths you had, if there was anything else that could have served you more, or just needed to find your way, needed to find your direction, okay? needed to discover what true path you really wanted to go on. And this required, probably required, right, looking outside of, this person, the situation for an extended period of time, you know, and that this was and needed to happen 
and was in alignment perfectly with what the divine intended here. And the chances are the divine has showed you, too, visions of this person and this relationship being real. Probably has given you the signs, you know. But it has also probably been a little bit of a challenging uh, time because it's also probably taken, down, taken you down different paths that were not coming towards this person or in alignment here. And that's something you had to figure out. And that's okay. Yeah. Five of Wands pops out. So there could have been conflict here in your own mind, in your own heart about, you know, who you wanted to give your cup to, what, what you wanted to reconcile around, if you did want to reconcile. You probably felt bound to the situation for a long time over whether or not you should come in and offer your cup of love with the Five of uh, Wands here. But I feel this is mo mostly in your own mind, having a battle here. And this person here, the Hermit, this person's definitely isolated themselves, okay? Or you've isolated yourself too in regards to this person, but this person's definitely separated themselves away from, I feel, you, from society, and just kind of doing their own thing. Knight of Discs here, Ace of Cups. So this is, this is someone here really strategizing. Not, I mean, it's almost like trying to see, right? Trying to imagine and trying to see in a practical way what and how this could actually go down and kind of looking out at the battle, looking out at the scenario ahead and going, how is this going to work? How is this tangibly going to work? You know, is this tangibly going to work under the Ace of Cups, right? This might have been you for a little while, right? Battling through the different pathways or opportunities in your own mind here as to whether or not this could really be a thing or should be a thing, this relationship. Princess of Discs. In the meantime, though, I feel that you've done a lot of self-work. I feel you've done a lot of healing, and I feel you've done a lot of cultivation of who you are genuinely, and really just healing. Healing and finding yourself. Gathering up the pieces of who you really are and what you want to really be, and choosing that. Now, the Ace of Swords comes out because this is a necessary communication that's been on delay for a little while, I feel. Because you can see here, the star card led to what I can see here is choosing a different path for a little while, separation. And then the Ace of, Wa Ace of Swords comes out as finding and knowing the truth and then sharing that truth openly as something to cut through this ambiguous Two of Wands energy. And yeah, the Princess of Wands. So even though with the Five of Wands you felt bound, the Princess of Wands, particularly in this deck, tells me that the two of you, or in a situation, right, you have felt almost drawn back to it, right? See how this Princess of Wands is sliding on back to whatever situation that she might have been trying to run away from. Sliding on back inevitably, because the, the pool is too strong. And the truth is too strong here. The truth that you now know, I believe, was too strong to run away from. It was futile. <laughs> it was futile. Seven of Swords comes out underneath the Hermit. So there was something between you and this person that wasn't shared fully. Could have been you towards them. Also could have been them towards you. Could be both of you guys. But there was something here that just wasn't... Um, it, wa it wasn't transparently shared openly. Like there wasn't closure, I feel, between you two. There was something left open-ended, you know? before and through the separation. Like, it wasn't fully closed out, you know? There was still both a lot of thoughts, a lot of emotions, a lot of stuff to work out, emo like, on both of your hearts here. And here's the Queen of Discs. So, I feel that this is who you've stepped into, really, is someone who is, you know, gone from really strategizing if and how and should this work and making slow progress. I mean, now you've reached your destination at the end of the road, which is, hey, I've, I've stepped into my power, I've become independent, I've become stable, I've, I've learned to love myself and prioritize myself here. Beautiful stuff. And now I'm on the lookout for my king. And I'm longing for my king. Or my partner. Okay. Beautiful card here. Overall outcome here is the High Priestess. 
So I do feel you're allowing your intuition to guide you. This is also someone who, with the star card, allows their intuition to guide them. And like we were saying in the very beginning, al allows and knows that this situation is not really under their control. Right? Like that this was and had to be, had to happen all in divine timing and divine fate, right? Clarity on top of that is Queen of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. So you have really, I feel, very much so stepped up into a new desire for uh, wealth and stability and a beautiful, abundant life. Okay, you, you are now choosing that strongly. Stepped into your passion, your power, your purpose here. Wanting to choose and step up into your truth. And the High Priestess, you've awakened your intuition well enough to know the truth in and around the situation and about who and what you want. Because I feel like before you might not have known what exactly you wanted in a situation and, of course, also who you wanted, right? That might have been a question mark. And so you had to, with the Two of Wands here and the Ace of Swords, go find your truth. You had to go discover what it was you were looking for so that way you knew when you found it. Because I feel like you found it, and this per it's been this person the entire time. Whoever this water sign is, you know, or this, uh, this person in your heart. Three final outcome cards. Spirit, please, for additional clarity on this reading. Any two are destined to be. Absolutely. Absolutely. Six of Swords and the Devil card. So moving past the karmic past. So you two definitely had a rough past, maybe. Yeah. A past involved with karma, a past involved with drama, a past involved with addiction, potentially. Um, darkness, right? Six of Swords says it's time to, and you are on the process of finding a way to move past that, which is beautiful. And the Sun card, of course, with my divine lovers. Every deck I get, it has a sun card with divine lovers, it seems. <laughs> but this is the overall outcome for you, Leo. Um, I feel the need to give you congratulations because I know it's been a tough journey. And uh, I do feel that it's coming to a close here. That whatever karmic journey you've been on and separation here from you and your person, I feel you've learned a lot here. You've now chosen the direction and the person that's right for you. And you're coming in rapidly to give them... Uh, a real shot at love here with everything, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Sun card. Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful potential for divine love and lifetime love. Here. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords, so, and then the Eight of Cups. So what Spirit wants me to say with this, because uh, it's under the deck, is that... Uh, there may be some regret, feelings of sadness, feelings of why did this have to happen, right? Why me? Why them? Why did they say that? Why did I say that? And uh, with the Eight of Swords here, particularly with this card, and the Eight of Cups, it's interference. And guess who intervened? It wasn't you, it wasn't them, it was the Divine. And... Uh, Spirit really wants me to tell you that because it had to happen for you and them to step into what they're really here to step into. Okay, Because they have stepped into something beautiful too. They've, they've begun to open their wings and fly in a way that wouldn't have happened without the separation. And you have stepped up into your true power and passion and chosen what you want and who you want. And that in itself is one of the most powerful transformations you can make. So congratulations, Leo. So happy for you. And uh, if you want to go deeper and find out where your person's at, what they feel, and find out any additional clarity on what the universe has to say about this divine union, check out the extended in the description box below. Also, again, shameless uh, plug-in shout-out here is uh, if you want unlimited access to all the extended readings for life, or as long as you're a member, check out the Patreon page, uh, Tier 2. You do get those extendeds for free, in addition to learning how to read the tarot and your astrology chart. Lots of cool content on there. You can check it out uh, depending on the tier you get. Okay? Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the extended. Bye for now.